here we are again we've just uh, traveled from Catherine we traveled a hundred and sixty odd kilometers 167 I hope I can get through this without swallowing a fly it's one or two around so we traveled from Catherine 167 K's where uh, a little place called K pot gravel pit thank heavens for wiki camps gives you a good idea of how to do your runs and Oh, be lost without it. Thank you, Wiki Camps. And if you haven't got it, get it. It's a Bible, I tell you, for travel. Um, even offline, you know, you can have the offline version going. Gives you a little plot where you are and where you're coming up to, how how close the turnoff is. So we're not far from the road. It's about 100 meters over there. But hopefully, fairly quiet. Not too much noise. We've got this nice big gravel pit here. Park up. I actually was a little disappointed I thought it might have gone a little bit further off the road and a little bit further back but she'll do nicely there's a couple of little fire pits around some people have had fires I gathered up a couple of the old trees that are laying around here might uh, have a look at one tonight but yeah it's tinder dry tinder dry there's, there's a spot right down here and there's no grass for the miles well within Kui so uh, that should be all right so yeah, I said 167 k's from Catherine and we're about 210, 14 or something like that to the WA border. So we'll, uh, we'll do one night here and then we'll go down to Timber Creek, which is just down the road a little bit further. Have a look at Timber Creek. There is a place we could stay at Timber Creek, um, but yeah, we'll go at the back of that. Have a look at, I believe the Victoria River is nearby. So uh, there's a bridge, go to the bridge, have a, have a look at that. And then we'll um, go a little bit further past Timber Creek and there's a couple little gravel pits out there. Um, I think Jude might like the, we might do a couple of nights at the next one because we'll have a little bit of Wi-Fi service here. We've got nothing, no telly, no Wi-Fi. It's good solar. Hopefully that'll keep my, my fridge in the back there all topped up. And yeah. Leaving our great little car park spot there, camping overnight. Nice little spot, couldn't fault it at all. Had a couple come in, um, had, had a nice little fire and dinner with us. It's a helicopter just starting up, ready to go and do a tour over the beautiful Victoria River area. That's where we are now. We're just in um, a little place called Gregory, I think it is. But couldn't help but notice um, fantastic uh, sights of the river gorge, uh, highlighted by the, the morning sun coming up. So uh, just had to stop and check it out. It's really nice, but we're on our way now to Timber Creek. Follow us. To um, Timber Creek, which is about 15 k's down the road, but you just stretch the legs here at this little uh, monument, which is a bit of a tribute to uh, the Durack family. But, uh, put a fair bit of uh, effort into the farming around here. And another interesting thing here, instead of having uh, fenced areas, big fenced areas and lots of yards and bits and pieces. This is a replica, obviously it'd be done with timber, but they would um, bring in the mob of cattle and bits and pieces that needed to be sort of uh, split up to keeps and off to the factories and all those sort of places. 
They would um, tie them up on the fence here where they'd be able to you know, check them out, dehorn them and brand them. So it was a economical way of uh, turning a stockyard out in the middle of nowhere. So I made it to the little town of Timber Creek. And it's not far from the uh, Victoria River, which is the largest waterway in the Northern Territory, arising south of Wave Hill in the desert and flowing 800 kilometers to the Timor Sea. Timber Creek flows into the Victoria River three kilometers from the township. So, uh, yeah. So yeah, there's a defense training area on the borders of Timber Creek. And yeah, I've read in some um, reviews that uh, a lot of the town gets booked out because of it. But I just had to laugh at that bottom sign. Do not touch anything, it may explode and kill you. <laughs> So Timber Creek Hotel down that way with a Puma station and down that way there's a bakery and a United. Just driven just down from Timber Creek there. It's only about 10 goes down the road. Come across this Bradshaw's bridge I think it was. We'll check that one and uh, the Victoria River which as I mentioned earlier flows some um, 800 kilometers through into the, out to the Timor Sea disappears out into that beautiful gorge we saw way up at uh, Gregory and heads that way I'm sure we'll follow it to some degree I do believe there's alligators and crocodiles How's this? We've just pulled up at our camp spot, about 120 k's shy of the WA border, and we've got a couple of visitors. Porky one and Porky two. <laughs> These guys have come around to help clean up any of the old food and vegetable scraps and uh, food and vegetables that we can't take across the border from uh, Northern Territory to WA. Any fruit, um, honey. Stuff like that, yeah. Well, good morning. We are one hundred odd K's, one hundred and seven, give or take, K's from the WA border. Just parked up at a grand spot. We were in that K pot, we traveled from K pot through Timber, uh, Timber Creek, just to the other side of that to a, a little rest area. I think it was called East Bane. Not a bad little spot, but it was a little spot, and uh, I think we had about 10 vans in there, so it got a little cramped and um, it had some trees. We don't have much in the way of trees at this spot. But the big thing with the East Bain, especially the east end of it along the fence line we found, we had really good Wi-Fi reception, so it was good to catch up with uh, a few bits and pieces, bits and bobs. So yeah, we're at this, um, it's called a large gravel pit, and you can kind of see why. It's um, an old uh, roadworks gravel dump, and uh, it's become a really nice spot to uh, spread out and park up and rest before we go over the border and it's not far from the road probably hear a car come by soon or a truck um, I think that's about 100 150 meters away so yeah nice spot and I'll show you the spot where we've landed it's it's magic we'll go there. so here we have our parking spot for the night just get a little bit of um, Telstra reception I think we've got about one or two bars of 4G and um, couldn't have asked for anything better the road workers or whoever was here left a concrete pad <laughs> bigger concrete pad than you find in buddy most car caravan parks wouldn't it a bigger concrete pad 
bigger than most caravan parks. It's, it's fabulous. It'll do us nicely. We went gathering and picked up a little bit of firewood. I'll show you later my little uh, Ryobi purchase. It was good. A little um, uh, battery operated uh, chainsaw. I mean, they're dime a dozen now. Everybody's, every brand's got one, but they did a nice job cutting up the firewood for the evening, which I think out around this area I should be fairly safe. Um, I've seen a few people having a lot closer proximity to trees and grass, so we'll have some sensible burning tonight. And I've got some great uh, solar action happening there. And we've got uh, the sun will pass very soon in probably about two or three hours and head down to the back side of the van and we'll have a nice cool evening with uh, I reckon a, a pretty nice um, outlook. The sun will be setting the other side but I reckon it'll be nice and we should get a big starry night tonight too. So look forward to that. In the meantime will uh, make life a little bit more comfortable and relax. Here we are, 100 k's from the WA border. We've been brave enough to have a fire so we can light some marshmallows and burn them. <laughs> but what a sunset. It still ain't peach yet. Well folks, this is it. We're crossing from the Northern Territory to WA. <coughs> Gonna miss the Northern Territory. I'll have to come back. It's been a blast. It's been nice seeing some new country and meeting new people and seeing new things. But we're, as I said uh, before, um, we're uh, an hour away from the border. We're gonna make an early start to the border. We're just um, getting the van in order, getting rid of uh, the um, quarantine stuff food wise there's that much honey it's not funny <laughs> um, but yeah last night the stars were just insane there was so much of it there the Milky Way the galaxy I only saw a couple of satellites go over um, but yeah we just were in awe of the stars and um, the fire Oh, it was really nice too, just flickering away in the distance, um, and such a warm night. It was that warm that we um, put a rug down on the, um, the concrete here, below, and we just gazed up. It was just awesome. And traffic wasn't too bad, now that I say it. Truck's on the way. Uh, so yeah, today, the border, and Argyle. And also, yeah, it's a bit late now, but obviously behind me, so nice. Here we are, arriving at the Northern Territory WA border. So excited. There we go, we're all cleared to pass from Northern Territory that way, WA that way. Welcome to WA, it's been a lovely, we've done a month in Northern Territory. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 